Positube, this is Lori McClary, Tech Stylist. Today is Wednesday, March 4th, and it's my mother's birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. Um, this is my channel mostly about cross-stitch, but sometimes about some kind of sewing and everything textile. Um, so today's mostly about cross-stitch, and we've got a lot to cover today. I've got some haul, I have some stitchy kindness to discuss, and um, we're gonna finish that whip parade that I uh, started in my last video. So Olivia B, you can rest easy. Uh, here's the second part and you will no longer wonder what is in the rest of the whip parade. So uh, I'm gonna start out with Stitchy Kindness. The first thing um, is I got this wonderful card from Susie Reno for Valentine's Day. And uh, I'm not gonna read it, but it was, it was just a great card. It was um, a surprise. Um, I, I wasn't expecting it. It, it. You know, the great thing about Stitchy Kindness is they always arrive when, uh, when you need it most. And so um, I look forward to seeing you again this year, Susie, and thank you so much for the card. Um, the second part of Stitchy Kindness, I don't have anything to show you. I'm just gonna talk about it a little bit. Um, as many of you know, I'm in the process of moving from one house to the other. Uh, it's been it's been a chore. <clears throat> it's it's a lot of work. Um, I have work that I'm having done here on um, my house here to get it ready for, to sell. Uh, packing up and moving things all by uh, myself has been um, has been challenging. And I'm not really by myself. My son has been helping me a lot. But I also had some help from. Um, Lisa Kindred Stitcher and her husband uh, this last weekend they came over and they helped me disassemble my quilting machine which was no small feat um, there was a lot of parts <clears throat> it was really fun I am so so grateful that they came over and helped it's definitely not anything I could have done myself um, there's definitely some heavy parts and uh, it's a 12 foot machine so even just lifting you know a couple of the roller bars is, is not something that a single person can do um, so thank you so much for um, helping with that, Lisa, and um, I really, really appreciate uh, that, that stitchy kindness. It's a different kind of stitchy. It's quilting, but it's, it's stitchy kindness just the same. Um, I have some haul, not a whole lot, not my usual haul stories, but I've been kind of um, uh, cutting back while I'm, I'm in this moving process because mostly I'm not quite sure which address to have things sent to. Um, but I did get my last, um, my last of the ABC, um, kits from, uh, Spring Green, Wisconsin, which is the country sampler, and that is the Jane Penderleaf 1833, so it's here, it is, it is just gorgeous, I cannot wait to start this, and look at all the pretty threads. And uh, that was the ABC Schoolgirl Club Kit 4. Um, this is on a 36 count. Oh, I can't see the color. But I'll talk more about it when I get it started. So that came in the mail, so that was awesome. Um, speaking of Olivia B, she did some stash unload, and I picked up a couple of really pretty la -dee da patterns. I, I really love la -dee da This one is Live, Laugh, Love, and I've got it in my little case here. Isn't that gorgeous? And the second one is called Give Her. And this is totally, totally my style. I love this stuff. So um, those came in the mail. Thank you, Olivia B. Um, I got, also picked up the pattern. Um, so grateful that the Hands Across the Sea Sampler re-released the uh, Oofendale Sisters. I got Ann Tong and um, my last trip to Acorns and Threads, I picked up most of the silks um, right here. And, you know, the floss toss on the silks really doesn't happen when you have them in the floss way bags. But they, they do keep them much nicer than, than just the floss ring. And I'm going to be doing this on, I believe it is a 40 count. I've lost the tag. 40 count. I think this is a light exemplar. It might be... Maybe something else. I'm not positive. Let me let me double check. I think I'm using the called for. So what is it called for? Oh nope. This is actually Lakeside Linen Vintage Butter Pecan. So that's what I will be doing on that, um, and I'll be starting that later this year. Uh, the other um, haul, I made a purchase from Silks for You, and I got a couple of hanks. And this this hank, this green hank, this is going to be used for um, the mother's tree, the 
the pattern for the mother's tree when I finally get um, get all of my research done to start stitching that. And that color is, oh, here, I have it here. That is PR111, if you're interested in that. And it's kind of a, a dark forest green. The, the variegation on that's really pretty. And then the second one, I don't remember what they call the color, but I just, I love my reds. So there's a ton of pretty variegation on that. And that one is PR007, oh, I'm sorry, PR067. And those are from Silks, um, Silks for You. And I have the card here, here it is. <clears throat> um, here's her card. Uh, many people have talked about Silks for You. Lisa Kendra's sister talked about them recently uh, as well. You get uh, quite a large hank, it's, um, and when you buy five of them, you get one for free. Plus she sent me this really cute, really pretty needle minder. It came with that. So pretty excited to get those. They are lovely, lovely silks and uh, such, such a good bargain on those. Um, the, the next thing that I bought, <laughs> so Lori Mischievous, Mischievous Stitches, uh, she has been working on her Rose Quaker, and she just recently finished it, and it, oh, it is so pretty, you guys. Um, so I had to go get that, and so you can do a download um, on that. So I I purchased that. It's in the sleeve. I can't take it out because it's kind of stuck in there. When you do the download, uh, you'll see that they, they send you a download that's just for you. So it says right there, for Lori McClary. Um, and here is the flosses. I'm just going to kind of do like huh, a little rose bloom. So here's the flosses for that. Let's see if I can get those to focus. There we go. And then once I got it, I was out, um, shopping and I saw some fabric. I needed to get some fabric for a fabric bread and I saw some fabric that I thought was just perfect. It's the same colors. Check that out. And so I made a project bag and then I had to make a big bag to match. So it was a lot of fun. I was taking a day off from all of the, the other packing and stuff and I just needed to have a creative day. Okay, so that's my haul. That is my stitchy kindness. What else do we have on the list here? Do, 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 do. Oh, we're just gonna do, we're gonna dive into the whip parade. Um, I'm not quite sure where I left off exactly. I didn't go back and look at um, the whole video. So if I show something twice, I apologize, but I, I think I think I'm pretty close. Um, because I couldn't finish it when I was at the sister's house, I, I just kind of dumped everything in a box and, and brought it with me <laughs> so I could do this video. Um, this is gonna kind of be I'm looking at my piles here. This is going to kind of be broken up by seasons, more or less, and some, some really big projects. So I'm just going to head and get started. Um, the first one is um, For Snowfall. I might, have, I might have shown this one. So For Snowfall by Little House Needleworks. Or, I'm sorry, that's not true. This one's Country Cottage Needleworks. And here's where I'm at. I am almost done. I just have um, some of the rest of the letters to use. And you know what? With the lighting here, I think I'm going to have to put something behind it. Oh, please. Okay, I'm not sure this is that much better, but maybe if I do it at an angle. So I'm almost done. I have the bunny and the, the deer and the tree done, and I just have the letters. And I will be... Oh, I think I have some more snowflakes, and I will be complete. Uh, and this is the flosses for that. I did some conversions. Um, I did change the house to red and I did some other conversions. And you can go look on my Instagram, but it's also textilist, and you can see what that conversion is. Um, when, I when I decided about the red house, it was because I saw this, and this is a, a little house pattern. I saw this uh, on the wall at Acorns and Threads, and I just love the color combination. The the um, linen is the same color, um, more or less the same colors. And so what I did is I did a combination of the floss for this 
pattern and the floss for the other pattern and I'm making them companion pieces. Um, I'm calling them companion pieces because I'm gonna uh, probably frame them and hang them together. I don't think they were originally intended as companion pieces. And um, I kind of got stalled on that one, so I went ahead and started this one. I have a little start here um, on the, the border. I'm changing the border. This one, I believe, has a green, two, two tones of green in the border, and I'm doing white so that it more or less matches the border on the other one. So there's those, and they're in this project bag. Very wintry, appropriately. Okay, <clears throat> let's see if I can do this without totally messing up all of my my groupings of stuff. So the next one I'm going to show you um, is Heartstring Samplery. Lisa Kendra Stitcher just finished, did a full finish on this on a sled. It is adorable. If you haven't seen this, go look at hers uh, on two or three videos, like, well, maybe it was closer around Christmas. Uh, this is Heartstring Samplery Hibernation Day. And this is what I have done. Not a whole lot, but um, it's, it's very pretty. I'm doing this on a 32 count as uh, white art that I coffee tea dyed. And this is, these are the colors. Oops, let's turn this around. That's going to be a little bit better. Really love this piece. Can't wait to get it done. <laughs> uh, along with the 150 other things that I'm working on. But we know how that works. And this is the project bag that I have it in. Okay, the next piece um, I was... I was, I think it was in the other house and I didn't have a lot of stuff with me, but I had a little bit of scrap linen and I pulled this off of the internet. This is a free pattern. It's uh, from Sullivan's. It's called Autumn Quilt. I thought it would also make a really cute uh, Christmas quilt. So I stitched that, started stitching that and uh, I'm probably gonna finish it as a, um, just a flat piece and make it an ornament. But I just thought that was so cool. I might do another one in green to match that. So there's a little start there. I'm doing this on some mystery something, mystery, looks like maybe uh, even weave uh, that I coffee tea dyed. This went really quick. Um, the next thing I have, and I really, really do wanna finish this one soon because I want to make it into a drum and I wanna have it for next season. This is also a free download. You can get it off of Beth Twist site and it is called Yukon's Christmas List. So that's Yukon Cornelius. This is just my, my downloaded and it's a drum. And if you love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you know who Yukon Cornelius is and this says cornmeal and gunpowder, ham hocks, and the part I don't have finished, which is guitar strings. And Yukon Cornelius over here, it says 1964, which is when the um, when it came out. So I have some words left and I have some red snowflakes to finish and then I'm gonna complete this as a drum. This is also on a piece of even weave, I think it may be a 28 count that I hand dyed, which probably shrunk us closer to a 32. But um, just using some leftover floss, I don't know if I have the colors. I don't have the colors. So just, you know, your favorite red and green. <clears throat> or you could do it in blue. I think blue would, and uh, would look good because, you know, silver and gold, all part of that. And it's in a bag that I used a leftover, um, a log cabin block that I made and some real pretty batik. So that's the bag that's in. Uh, the next bag has a couple of pieces in it, one of which will be part of my stitch 10 and 20. Um, I'm hoping to do, I don't have it written down. I think I dedicated four slots to four different um, um, Prairie Schooler Santas. I don't have the actual pattern 
to show you all I have, or the pattern cover to show you all I have is the the piece that I can't show you, but this is the Santa that I'm working on. Uh, this is using called for colors on called for linen, which I don't recall what it is. Do it, does it say on here? An 18 count khaki Davos. I don't know. I don't know that that's what this is. I think this is something different. I'll, I'll look it up. Next time I show this, I'll have the right information. <clears throat> so this will be one of the Santas, and this is 1986 Santa, uh, Prairie Schooler Santa. So I hope to get several of those done so I can have some um, to show, um, to put on my Christmas tree. Uh, and this is the project bag. The inside of that project bag is actually a tea towel that I picked up, I don't know, Target dollar spot somewhere something like that I don't even recall exactly and there's the back so there's that one and then the second one that's in there <clears throat> this was inspired by Michelle farm girl she did this and I immediately had to go get it it's the horse country holiday a lot of you did this I have the itty bittiest of starts and you might not even be able to see it because it's the light color, but that's what I have. And this is being done on a 40 count. Uh, do I have it written down here? Yes, I'm doing it on a 40 count pearled barley. And these are the colors. And this is the, um, this is the conversion that that country sampler did. So I'd love to get back to that too. Okay, so we're kind of moving in more to the autumnal um, whips. This one, um, I've been working on fairly steady on and off. Um, this is a Plum, Plum Street sampler, and it's called Autumn Fractor. Let's see if I get it right side up here. So I'm maybe not quite halfway done. And this is the pattern. Autumn Fractor. This is being done on, um, again, I need to look. Maybe I have it here. I do not. So what does it call for? I'm not using it on a call for. I'm using it on a 36 count something. I may have had it on my other videos when I'm using it or stitching it on. But here's the floss. It calls for, and I am using the call for um, floss. So I really, really like this one. And it's in my very favorite bag, which is my owl bag. And I have a matching small owl bag. Gotta keep my floss in. And then also in here is, um, I picked this up at one of, um, I think at the Air Acorns and Threads, um, a retreat, and this is from Caddy Cross Stitches, and this is the little floss keeper. And if you don't have one of these, you need to run right out and get one or five because they are the handy dandiest little things. Uh, basically, I just um, throw my floss on there. It has a little needle minder thing, and I just drop it in the bag, and and it stays. It works. It's awesome. So get one. Okay, next we're gonna move into more of the spring and summer. And this one is Summer at Cherry Hill, which is a Brenda Gervais. And this is what I have done. And here's the floss. There's a lot of colors here and they are just stunning. This is being done on a 40 count sand by Picture This Plus, and I am using the called for colors. And this is the project bags. I have it done. Okay. The next one is, um, I started this at Stitch and Again's, and it is the Scarlet House, A Perfect World. And 
this is what I have done. And this is the coolest needle, mi needle minder. This is the, the Stitch Nanigans needle minder. And then this one I got from Diana, uh, which says, if you can't say anything nice, come sit next to me. Um, tongue in cheek, of course. <clears throat> and here is the flosses that go with that. And this is being done on 40 count vintage meadow rue from Lakeside Linen. And I am using the called for uh, Weeks Dye Works and General Arts colors on that. And that is sharing a bag. Here we go. No, it's not sharing a bag. This is the bag that it's in. Cute little springtime bag with a cute little springtime deer and matching bag to go with it. And I just dropped everything. Okay. Let's see, what do we have next? The next one we have is the two Bs and ABCs. This is a stitch along um, that I started and I didn't get very far, uh, unfortunately. Um, and I think it, I probably haven't gotten much further from the last time I showed this. Uh, this is being done on a hand dyed um, that, that I hand dyed. Uh, it's a, I think it's a 36 count. Um, and I dyed this with turmeric and tea to get this kind of mottled um, golden honey look. And that's, that's what I have done. Again, that's what it is. And where are all the flosses? Oh, here are the flosses. And I'm doing it in the call for, um, there's one side, there's a lot of flosses. There's the other side. Um, called for DMC. And this is by Rosewood Manor. Yes, Rosewood Manor. And it's in this lovely bee-themed um, project bag. Okay, and then, oh, I really, really like this one. Um, I think I need to stitch on this one a little bit. Maybe later today. This is Where Hearts Rest by Brenda Gervais. And I'm doing this on a 28 count Rin Cashel. And this is, this is my start. And here are the flosses. This blue. What is that? Mountain Mist. Really like that blue. It looks kind of like a robin's egg blue. And this is residing in a appropriately bird themed project bag with some cardinals and I'm not sure what those are. Chickadees maybe? I don't know. And I have a matching, matching um, floss bag to go with that. Okay, what's next here? The next thing, oh, another thing I really want to work on. Uh, it's going to be a toss-up between which one of these I want to work on. This one is uh, Spring Delivery. Also Brenda Gervais. And I am doing this on, there's the floss here. Is that, nope, that's the floss. I'm doing this on a... R and R called. I need to get the glasses for this one. Prim green, R and R. It's a forty count. Put that behind it. Oops. I guess it would help if I showed you the right side. Let's do this again. There we go. Ah. Uh, so I have a little start on that. Um, maybe I'll get down to the bunny where I can do some some uh, mindless stitching, more or less. So looking forward to getting back to this. And that is also with the, the call for colors, which is Weeks Dye Works and Gentle Art. 
Another one I have in the spring summer theme, this, well, this is definitely summer because it is August, is August Word Play, Brenda Gervais. Not a very big start. Here are the colors. These are so cool. Look at those. And then I already have some trim picked out for that. And this is being done on, um, I don't have the tack. I'm pretty sure it's not being done on the call for. It's a 40 count. I think it looks like, I'm not sure. It's a green, what is that? Oh, it's Heritage, that's what it is. Uh, I'm doing it on a 40 count Heritage and I'm using the called for floss. And both of those live in this summer themed project bag. And the next one is, oh, a huge start, huge, huge. I, I just, <laughs> not. <laughs> um, I can't even show you a picture because all I have is the chart and it's called Peaceful Ways, because all I have is my working copy. It's called Peaceful Ways and it is, um, Oh, who does this? I believe this is a la -dee da <clears throat> So all I can do is show you my enormous, huge start along with the colors. And if I can find a picture of it online, I'll insert it. If not, then um, I'll try to get it next time. And then this is the project bag that it's in. Uh, another la -dee da I really like la -dee da <clears throat> This one is a called The Three Lilies. And I'm doing this on a hand dye that I call Burnt Brown Butter. It is a 30, 36 count, I believe. And this is what I have done so far. Oops, I've got it pinned together, so that's not going to work. Let's try. There we go. This is what I have done. I have one more lily off to the right and then I can really get going on the letters. And I'm using the call for colors. And then I have one of LaDonna's awesome, awesome DMC um, tags from Sampling of Memories. So looking forward to finishing this one. Uh, this one I have specific plans for. It's gonna hang in my living room. The next one um, is a Kathy Barrick uh, Carriage House Samplings, and it is um, the Kingsford Sampler. And I just love this um, arts and crafts style colors and the deer. She has several things that are in this um, style type, and I have mm, maybe five or six of them. Um, I am doing this in the call for DMCs. I am doing it on something a little bit different though. I believe I got this fabric from Xju Designs and it's, yes I did. It's a 32 count on a Zwegar Lucana even weave um, by Xju and it's called Old Linen. And it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a blue, it's kind of a spruce green, I guess I would call that. And so there's the colors. And I have a tree done and I have the stag, one of the stag's heads done. So really, really love this. It's so pretty. Um, so that will probably wait till fall to get back to that. And then I have sort of a fall related, this is kind of a whimsical project bag. I've got some cute little squirrels. Oops, here, here we go. Some squirrels. Uh, in acorns in colors and then this uh, which I think is um, an ICE line fabric love that fabric didn't know what I was going to use it for for but it seemed appropriate for this 
Uh, the next one is um, a sal through Priscilla and Chelsea. I don't recall the sal. If I find the name, I will put it down here. And it is the Pumpkin Hollow Farms. And it's by Little House Needleworks. Oops, there we go. Little House Needleworks. I am doing this on a 40 count. Am I doing it on a 40 count? Let me look. I can't tell. No, it's not. It's not a 40 count. It's probably a 36 count. I'm doing this on a 36 count. Looks like a maple sugar. And whoop, here we go. Let's see if you can see the threads or see the stitching. I have a very little start, but I am using the called for colors, which are right here. So this is pretty. Again, that's a fall stitch, so that will probably go back into my fall stitch rotation. Actually, it's a 32 count white mocha. That's what I'm doing that on. Okay. <clears throat> Next one is, oh, I love this one. I think it was um, Hedgerow Stitcher that showed it and really, really um, inspired me to go get this one. And it's Little House Needleworks and it's Needleworker. Her finish was so pretty. I am doing this on a over dyed, over coffee tea dyed um, piece of linen and it it is a 40 count uh, that I've over dyed. It's very wrinkly, I'm sorry. That's my own, that's as far as I got. But um, here is the called for colors. I really, really like this. I like them all, they're all pretty. All of them are really pretty. And it's in a project bag that uh, matches the colors. I got some cute vintage looking fabric on the inside and some really cool looking, oh, I love anything with words. I've probably said that a million times. And then I've got a cute little zipper pull on that. So, okay, we're on the home stretch here, you guys. So the next ones I have are from Blackbird Designs and they're kind of cohabitating several of them in um, project bags. I don't have the floss to show this because I, I got it at retreat and I didn't have the floss with it. So I think I brought a skein of floss and I got it started. And this is Oh Joyous Day at Blackbird Designs. Let me back up a little bit here. And this is being done on a 36 count oaken. And that's, that's what I have done. That's it. Um, I've seen it completed though. It is really, really pretty. Um, the next one is another Blackbird Designs. And this is Merrily, Merrily, We Welcome Spring. Uh, it is also done on a 36 count oaken. And this is what I have done so far. Not a big start. And let's go here. Let me show you. Those are the colors. Is that not fabulous? Why have I not worked on that? I don't know. Too much stuff. Too much to do. Not enough time. And here's the project bag that it's living in. I've got some French blue on the front. I've got a beautiful William Morris on the back. And okay, ooh, we're down. Another Blackbird design, Away We Ride. This isn't the color version, this is just my working copy. And here is my ginormous start. But you can see it's going to be stunning because look at this those colors and they're all really blended in there isn't that pretty again probably something that I'm gonna start late summer early fall to get back to and this is another William Moore William Morris fabric uh, just in the black and tan okay the next two we're gonna look at are both um, BAPS big big projects 
Um, this one is Ann Dale. Uh, this is, I, I started a lot of samplers that are going to take me years to do, but that's okay. This is Ann Dale 1827, Big and Beautiful. I am doing this on the called for linen, which is a 40 count uh, vintage pair by Lakeside Linen. And this is my start. And I'm using call for colors so far. I think I, I'm just, I'm not totally happy with this color for these leaves here for the strawberry. Um, so I might do some some swapping out. I'll probably still say, stay with the colors that it calls for, but I may rearrange them a bit. And here are, here are the glosses. There's so many I'm gonna have to show you by two sides. Aren't those pretty? I love this uh, vintage pair. It is such a pretty, but this is, it's so big. It's a fat half. That's how big this thing's gonna be. <clears throat> She's a big girl. Big and beautiful. Okay, then she is in this project bag. Because, you know, we need red. She's got a lot of red in her. And then the other really big project that I started, because I can't help myself, is Sheep May Graze, excuse me, Sheep May Safely Graze, Alice Smith, 1841. And it is all about that border, you guys. It is all about that border. So not a big start. I'm doing this on another fat half. This is a 40 count vintage pecan butter. And that's my itty bitty start. But these are the flosses. And this is on the call for DMC. Oops. This one I may have to like move around several times for you to see all the colors. Okay, um, so that's my whip parade. Um, we're at, what, 28 minutes here? Not as long as the last one, but pretty close. So let's go ahead and switch gears. I'm going to talk a little bit more about these bags. Um, I'm just going to remind you these bags are called Mondo bags. And the pattern um, is actually pre-printed interfacing and is by a company called Quiltsmart. And uh, I talked with the owner of Quilt Smart. Her name is Maddie. And she has agreed to um, do a promo with me. And that promo is, and I'm going to put it right here. Um, if you would like to purchase the pattern, the, the pre-printed pre interfacing to do this, um, I'm going to put a promo code up here uh, for 15% off the, um, the cost of the pattern. And that will run through the end of March. So you will be able to use that and order that so you can make one of these beautiful bags. And um, I think as I mentioned in the last video, uh, they're quite large. They will hold up to maybe about 20 project bags of this size, like this. So they're great for retreats. They're great for uh, really, really big projects like I made the one back here uh, for, um, for the Rose Quaker Manor. Uh, they're soft, they're squishy. You can fold them up, so, um, you know, fold them up and put them in your, your luggage. Um, it doesn't necessarily say this on, on the pattern, but depending on how you construct them, you really could make them reversible. Uh, this one has pockets in it, so if I turn it inside out, Same bag. I mean, they're fully lined, so and they're fully finished on the inside, so you could do reversible as well. Uh, great shopping bags for uh, those folks who live in states where the plastic has been banned, which uh, both Oregon and Washington, um, um, they've done that. And they're, they're just wonderful. So um, I think that's really great that Maddie has agreed to do that. Uh, the next thing is, is I'm gonna give away um, a copy um, or a, a pattern, um, and that will be on my next video. 
Uh, I'm getting close to 2,000 subscribers, but this is to celebrate my 1,000 subscriber that I didn't do or my 1,500 subscriber that I didn't do. So I'm gonna do a giveaway of um, one of um, the patterns for, for the Mondo bags. Um, and you need to answer a question and you also need to be a subscriber, I will check. Um, the question is about what is your favorite part of doing a project? So the project from start to finish. Um, I would say one of the favorite parts of, for, for me, of a project is kitting it up. I know that sounds silly, but I, I really love the process of picking out the linen, of picking out the, the floss. Uh, not I don't always necessarily use the call for. I love the process of you know finding the, the right fabric for a project bag to go with it. I like making the little project bags to go with it. Um, it's just, for me, it's really, really fun to kit them up. I obviously love the stitching part. I really like the, the um, uh, it being completed. Um, I, I mean, I, I like the whole thing from start to finish, but my favorite part is, is the excitement that comes with putting it together. So the question you need to answer is, what is your favorite part? Is it kidding it up? Is it um, picking out floss? Is it um, uh, putting all the accoutrement together? Is it the actual stitching? Is it the finishing? Is it the fully finished that you get to hang on your wall or you, you get to put in your dough bowl or, or whatever it is? Or is it all of the above? Do you just, you just love it from start to finish? Tell me what your favorite part of the process is and um, then I will pull your name. Um, I will put all those names and I will pull a name from the list and I will give away one of um, the patterns for for the Mondo bag. Okay, so I think that's all I have today. Um, I will say that when I get closer to 2000, I am going to have a giveaway for a Mondo bag. Uh, it will probably be either a sewing themed or a spring themed, but I will make one of these lovely bags and I will give that away uh, when I reach 2000 subscribers. So, tell your friends. Um, if you're interested in, in winning one of these. that Not this one, this one's mine. But if you're interested in winning one, um, then tell your friends and when I reach 2000, I will give away a complete finished Mondo bag. So I think that's all for today. Um, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me and um, looking at all of my uh, 101 whips. It's not really 101, I'm not quite sure. Probably closer to I don't know, 50-ish. Next time, uh, per request, I am going to show um, all of the things I have kitted up, which is quite a few. Um, I don't know if I'll get them all in one video. I may do all of the club kits in one video and then all of the ones that I have kitted up ready to go in another, but we'll see. So again, thanks for stopping by. Um, glad you're here and I will see y'all next time. Bye.